brother. Uh, what's that? What's that, brother? <laughs> if you thought the recent Trump assassination made the FBI look incompetent, M. Night Shyamalan was just like, hold my beer, I got this. Trap, I think, was at least one of the most highest anticipated movies of the year for a lot of people. The trailer even calling it the movie event of the year. And to be honest, I personally bought that myself. Going into the movie, M. Night Shyamalan is very hit or miss, with unfortunate a lot more misses. However though, when he does hit, it's a home run. A man taking his teenage daughter to a concert from her most popular singer realises that he is at the centre of a dark and sinister event, a trap, in order to catch the killer, the butcher. I was pretty into this thing for the first 20 minutes. And I did really enjoy watching this guy try to figure out all these different ways and how he's gonna escape. And Josh Harnett is absolutely awesome in this film. I really need to see him in another movie. Even the not so great parts, which I'll get to real soon, he makes somewhat tolerable and I actually think of workarounds because he was just so good. Riley, his daughter, played by Ariel Donahue, was another highlight of the movie and I enjoyed them together. I really felt that father-daughter relationship. However though, it did feel like a bit of an excuse to have a literal concert for his daughter, who is a singer, playing Lady Riven. Now, she, hey, she was a good singer. I don't even like this kind of music, but she did the singing part well. And I can't say that I wouldn't really do the same. If I had a family member and she was good at a job that I needed in the movie, yeah, I'd probably put them in there. The issue with his daughter though, more comes from the acting side and that shit just isn't really too good at it. Unfortunately, it's not just a scene here or there. She does have some decent time on screen and taken away from the absolute savage that is Hartnett and has taken away his time to shine in the movie. The other issues with this movie is, well, do you know how I said the first 20 minutes? After that, the movie becomes a little bit of a chase with a profiler who's trying to hunt Hartnett down, Cooper the Butcher. And apart from the fact that it was a little bit boring, it was just filled with ridiculous moments that just took me out of the film. One, okay. Two, mm, three, no. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm out. I mean, seriously, if this is how stupid the FBI and the SWAT is, well, I don't want them at any concert or anything where I am. Take your job elsewhere, please. One part that kind of really took me out of the movie and I kind of forced myself to sleep afterwards. This part in particular is he walks in on some kind of SWAT briefing on tracking the butcher and he literally stands behind them listening to the briefs and then casually bumps into them when trying to just get a coffee because, you know, he has a little pass clipped onto his coat. Bear in mind here, this is after we get to see the police are taking people out of the crowd that have a very similar look and build to himself, the butcher, with even the same jacket in parts. Maybe the key here is if you're a psychopath to offer the SWAT teams donuts like he did. There's just a few too many parts like this. Unfortunately, this isn't the only one and it just becomes a really big problem. It's filmed beautifully, and one of my favorite shots is when Cooper is backstage while his daughter is dancing, and we have him off to the right with the big screen to the left, and it just looks really fantastic. But unfortunately, for a good movie, you can't just have really good shots, cinematography. It does also have to tell a really good story, and unfortunately with this, it had some of that, but really stupid parts in order to get to the end. I'd have to give Trap a 5 out of 10. Not really bad, not really good, very average. But have you seen this film? Are you going to still check it out? Do let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I will see you in deep space.